points to PJ. So you can see uh, essentially how we tweak this matrix by having this random jumping is that all of these zeros will disappear. And instead of the zeros, we will put 1 over capital N, where N equals uh, number. So N is the number of uh, all web pages. So this will be 1 over 100 billion, maybe. Right? So this strategy of random jumps will alter this matrix. And the new matrix we will call G. And then one can show that the rank rho can be computed uh, is equal to the limit of G to the N applied to vector that is uh, 1 over N everywhere. In fact, apply to any vector. So no matter which vector you have, if you <coughs> multiply it with a large power of n, it will converge. So you will see this is where the matrix multiplication comes into the play. This might be confusing at the moment. So all what you have to remember is just uh, how the surfing is done, that we are looking for these numbers, but we have to compute them uh, efficiently, and this will be done by reducing the Google page rank matrix, uh, uh, by uh, reducing the problem to finding a particular vector that satisfies certain property for an associated matrix. Yes? So what that algorithm then That essentially saying for um, we're multiplying the matrix G by it to the power of n to represent um, jumping to any random web page from any web page. The, that's that matrix G to the n. So this matrix uh, G to the n, uh, say some some number k times this vector v will give you the probability that after k many jumps, you are at a particular matrix. Uh, but this, we will go uh, through this matrix business very carefully uh, next time. What I want you to keep, to get from today is uh, this formula and the business with surfing, and then we will carefully encode it as a matrix problem and explain why it produces, not only always produces a solution, but produces a unique solution. And that's as important as having a solution at all. Why do you think if uh, we could get two different answers that satisfy this property, why would that be a catastrophe for Google? What if you could have two different solutions to page nine? How do you tell you the better one? If you have two different page ranks, maybe one business has higher rank on one. Uh, if you look at two businesses, it might happen that one of them has higher rank on the first page rank, and the other is the other way around. And if you break you if you choose randomly which one you promote as the real one you are interfering with uh, you are making unwarranted decisions about the importance so it should be it must be unique in order to have a value right so this is the strategy it will be all common sense problems that we will massage in the mathematical formulation. I'll tell you how it is uh, solved, but the proofs will be left for math enthusiasts to read from the notes. Okay, so I'll see you then tomorrow. I mean, on Thursday.